Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how Books Reviews had a small but significant update, and we're going to go through what Books Review is in the first place. Now, Books Review, just so everyone's fully aware, is an accountant only feature. So, if you're not an accountant, you don't have access to this. But I think that if you are an accountant, every single accountant out there should be using Books Review to make sure that you are confident in the data that's in that client file. Let's go and have a look at it, run the RET, and we'll go see exactly what it has in store. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a Chartered Accountant, a Certified UK Trainer of Fantasy Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, Head of Accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning with Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to keep it straightforward. We're going to have a look at the world of books review within QuickBooks Online and see some of the little changes that have been made, which are really significant and it's going to help people make the most of it, but also just have a look at it in total, see what else it can do. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go straight and have a look at what books review can do for you. OK, so whereabouts is books review? Remember, it's an accountant only feature and it's under accounts review. And from there, you can go to Books Review. Now, one thing you must remember about Books Review is there is an option at the top here to move from monthly to clean up. The idea of the clean up option is it gives me one extra one here called a setup. And the idea then is you can, especially when you first take over a client or you're moving them from one system to another, this setup option here, it's only unlocked by using the clean up, by the way, um, gives you an opportunity to see some extra things. Now, everything we look at here has the same functionality on the right hand side, the to do box. Now, the to do box gives you an opportunity to go in there and choose what you need to do, i.e. you've still got something to do on this one. Waiting, as in you're probably waiting for a client or waiting for some information and done. And your idea is you want to be making everything set to done. So in the setup option, I can see what the first financial year end's been done, when the last closing, what tax entity. I can see if there's been any apps that have been connected to it. I can see a lot of information. When it comes to the financial reports, I can go into here. But the big part about the setup area is this opening balance adjustments area. From here, I can go in, put my opening balance adjustments in um, by going, right, actually, I'm going to put everything to my profit and loss brought forward account. And from here, I'm going to say what these items should be. So I go into it and I say, actually, this should be minus £500. Um, and my equipment, actually, should only be 25000 And I'll go through and I'll put all of these figures in as I go along. And the idea is I'm taking the figures directly from my financial statements, my statutory accounts, and I'm truing them up. I'm saying, actually, I need these to be changed. What happens then once I've done that is I can press the Add Adjustment button, automatically going to generate me a nice little journal entry moving these around i press save and close and it's a quick and easy way to get my open amounts into quickbooks that's my setup options i can also see if there's any disconnected bank feed and any accounts without activity for 90 days because these are the ones i probably want to think about do i, do I want to get rid of them is there any use of them now the final bit and you get this at every one of these tabs we're going to go through are my additional items so here I can add different items as I want to go through. Now, one of the things I would highly recommend as well is thinking about links, because QuickBooks page link right here. This is really useful for showing a particular report. Maybe you want to create a whole new task for, you, for someone to say, make sure this report is agreed or make sure this report's been updated or whatever it's going to be. Using this here, you could link directly there. One of my favorite features though, is if you use the recurring section over here and you have a look at recurring transactions, any of these recurring transactions I've got, got, like this wages journal here, if I was to press use on it, I actually get a little ID at the top there that I can copy. When I copy my ID at the top, my URL, I can use that and go back into Books Review. And when I'm adding something here, if I add the QuickBooks page link to this and I say it's for wages and maybe journal, what that happens there is now I have a link so I can go straight to creating that journal whenever I need to. I find that so powerful. That's the opportunity where you can really put little bits into QuickBooks, into that review books review area, and more of a to-do list so that people can go ahead and start adding those through. Remember, that's when the cleanups are activated. If I just go back to monthly, below that I can say what my date range is that I'm looking at, and from here I can go through and I can start looking at errors, problems that QuickBooks have found. For example, it's telling me there's 191 transactions I have yet reviewed in that date range. 
if it's in the full review section in QuickBooks, it's not in QuickBooks, right? So I've got to go and check that first. I can see uncategorized transactions. Now, the cool thing about uncategorized transactions is if I'm a bit confused about what they are myself, I can click on the ones that I'm confused about and I can use the option to ask client just here. I can even reclassify them if I do know. Reclassify, straightforward. I'm going to basically say what they are, move them from one category to the place. But ask client means it actually generates a question on both the, and based on that information. So it's taking the date, the amount, and all the information that's there, and it's then going to go and send that to the client. Once I press share, the client now gets asked those questions, and you can see that I'm waiting the info down here. My favorite part about this feature is what the client sees. So if I go to the My Accountant section and look at a question about transactions we've just asked, if I open what the client sees, they get a much more user-friendly document, much more user-friendly area that they can see how it looks like. And they can basically tell us what it was so we can make those updates nice and quickly. I love, love, love this feature because for me, this really gives us an opportunity to ask the client much more easily what it's going to be. You get to go through, see any undeposited funds, which is a huge area that gets wrong within QuickBooks. So it's nice to see that coming along. Um, and then we get the bottom here. And then, as I said there, these are examples, right? These are ones we've created ourselves. So we've got a little link saying, go to the PayPal control, make sure it's okay. Make sure it's not overdrawn or got any issues with it. And that wages journal idea, if I click here, it's gonna take me directly there. And each one of those, I can put a status of to do, waiting or done. So once I've completed that wages journal, I've posted it, I can press done. I know then everyone's confident and comfortable with everything going through. The big update to here though is under account reconciliation. From here, we now have the option to select account. What that does is that means that instead of having every single account there, which makes it really difficult for you to keep on top of, you can actually go through the ones that actually are really relevant to this business. So for me, I would be going through and saying, look, I desperately need that to be sorted out. I definitely need the bank account to be sorted out. I definitely need the square account to be done. But actually, the rest of them, I can look at at a different time. I don't need to be on top of them on a monthly basis. Um, and then when I press save, this whole area here is now going to be condensed to only looking at those items. So I've only got three unreconciled transactions to look at. It's been reconciled to the 10th of the 2nd, 24. That's probably all right, but maybe I just want to just update that. Contra and square, though, they've never been reconciled. I need to be making sure I'm on top of them. And now it's forcing me to look at those and go through. Same with those other bank ones. And when it comes to uncleared transactions, it's now only going to look at those ones we've the, for the banks we've looked at. And it's only going to be keeping them as we go forward. The final review section's there, so you can see the last little bits and looking really unusual or unexpected balances, accounts payable and your debtors and creditors, basically. Are they looking okay? And then finally wrap up, gives you an opportunity to select the reports, send the reports, and it's going to prompt you to close bracket, close the books. You then have the opportunity to add your additional items here, create your own checklist so that you know that everything's been looked at properly and it can go through from there. I absolutely love books review. It's one of my favorite parts about QuickBooks because if you can keep on top of that and you can keep everything looking right, then you know that every time you go to that client's data, you're going to be looking at the most up-to-date data, data that makes sense, data that actually is relevant and, and clear, and that's going to be really useful for everyone going forward. So what do you think? Do you like books review? Do you use books review? Have you even seen books review before? Let us know in the comments below, and then we can have a chat about it. My name is Anne Patrick. Don't forget to use that like and subscribe button if you do find this video useful, because we've got loads of updates coming to QuickBooks. I'm actually waiting for them to bring in some updates to the work papers area. I've seen it, I've played around with it, but it's not live yet. Once it goes live though, I wanna be talking about it. I wanna make sure that you guys understand exactly why work papers is such an amazing part of our QuickBooks and probably one of those areas that not a lot of people know about. So, my name's been Al Patrick. This video, as always, has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. And if you liked it or enjoyed it, then please do like, subscribe and all that lot. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.
Hello and welcome to this new scene. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Yes. Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you're right. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. Is that everyone else that missed it? Yeah. All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? During that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their accountant, right? their advisor that would give a new, all the phenomenal work for small business.